What's up everybody, it's your boy Blackbeard and I'm here with another video. Today I have a ingredient guide for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I've been playing a lot of ingredient. Uh, he's a very, very strong Pokemon. Uh, I don't believe he's should be played as a main tank, but uh, let's go get into the guide. Uh, this is Unite DB. I'll leave the link down in the description if you guys need it. All right, so let's start with uh, Cheek Pouch, his passive. When Greedent eats a berry, recover HP after receiving the effects of the berry. At the same time, Greedent stashes an orange berry in its tail. Being hit by a single attack or combination of attacks will cause an orange berry to drop from Greedent's tail. Berries stay on the ground for 10 seconds. If an ally or an enemy eats an orange berry, they heal for 60 plus 2% of their max HP. Guys, anything that does anything based off your max HP is a very good move. All right. So uh, unless the enemy is greeted, greeting enemies that eat an orange berry heal for 60 plus six times whatever your level is, plus 2% of your max health. This means that later throughout the game, you will start healing for a lot with Greedent. The yes, your teammates and your enemies won't heal as much as you, but you will still gain a lot of heals throughout the match, especially towards later in the match. You pretty much will heal, I would say half of your health, or I would say even more than half your health. All right, so your, your basic attack, uh, basic attacks becomes a boosted, boosted attack with every third attack dealing increased damage when it hits and causing one berry to drop from greeting. So this is very good. It's the normal, you know, basic attack that every Pokemon in the game has. You get, it does double the damage and the only difference is every third attack, greeting drops a berry for the heals and for his uh, passive stacks. All right, tackle. A very good, this ability right here makes greeting very, very good. Um, it obviously does a lot of damage, so tackle. Leap to the designated area dealing damage to enemies in the area of effect and decrease their movement speed for a short time. If the move is used while Covet is active, no area can be designated for the user to leap to. Uh, instead, while the user is running, damage is dealt in an area to the enemies in front of Greedent. If Greedent has an orange berry stash, consume all of them reducing tackles cooldown for each berry consumed so guys pretty much this is a six second cooldown you sort of want this move at a four second cooldown if you can get this move out of four if you can get whole four berries this will go pretty much at an instant cooldown which again that's what you want so if you have three to four uh berries that's what you're trying to want to go for use tackle all right, so tackle turns into bullet seed or belch. Uh, I will tell you guys now that belch is the better option. Bullet seed is garbage, but let me go ahead and start reading it. Uh, spit berry seeds in, a, in the designated direction, dealing damage to enemies in the area of effect uh, and decrease their movement speed for a short time. The more orange berries greeting has stashed, the more damage this move is dealt. All right, the, the damage is very insignificant, guys. Very, very low. Um, and it's only good if you have all five stacks up. All right, so Belch uh, deals damage to enemies in the area of effect and decrease the, uh, their movement speed for a short time. If Greedon has any orange berry stash, consume all of them, reducing Belch cooldown for each berry consumed. This is a very good move. And both moves are at an extremely low cooldown. So this mixed up with Covet, which is another move that uh, Greedent can learn, uh, is pretty much does in insane damage in CC. Uh, this, this move does a lot of damage. You guys can see it scales super, super good. It scales three, pretty much almost th over three times whatever your attack power is. So if say like your attack is, oh, let's say 300, 
if your base attack is 300 at 220 percent your attack would pretty much be 900 plus 35 times your level whatever your level is plus 850 base damage that's ridiculous that's huge he this move scales so well very strong move all right so defense curl uh defense curl grants greeting a shield 15 percent of your max hp for a short time in addition an orange berry will drop in front of greeting this move is very good 15 percent of max hp so say like uh you run score shield on your greeting which i feel like you're playing greeting wrong if you're not running score shield on him. You can have score shield, activate defense core first for the 15% shield, go ahead and score for a 10% shield, meaning that it will take, the enemy would need to do 25% of your max HP in order for them to stop you from scoring. Amazing move, amazing move for green early it, like uh, he can score for free which scoring is good because it will give you a lot of experience um so now let's go to stuff cheeks stuff cheeks green drops several orange berries which can be eaten uh to recover hp any hp recovered that exceeds green max hp will be converted to a shield if green catches sight of a orange of a berry while using this move, movement speed is increased for a short time. <sighs> I love this move. I love this move. Uh, I, I have a teammate that I play with. He thinks that you're trolling if you're going stuff cheeks over covet. But what stuff cheeks does, it makes it's like you're pretty much adding a second support to the team. And not only that. I feel like the heals is just way more with Stuff Cheeks than it is with Covet, but Covet still heals for a lot. Um, so Covet, what Covet does is Greedent runs with all its might, becoming unstoppable and dealing damage to enemies hit and throwing them. While running, Greedent drops orange berries, eating a dropped berry increases movement speed for a short time. The more berries eaten, the, mo the more movement speed is increased. In addition, Belch or Bullet Seed can be used while running. This is huge. This is big. This is big, guys. This is actually massive, I would say. Um, this move right here is consistent CC. It keeps popping the enemies up. And, and not only that, the movement speed that you gain from this is a lot and to add even more uh more irritation to this move you cannot be hindered while in this move so you can't be stunned you can't be popped up you can't be slept you can't be anything while this move is active that's what makes this move dangerous because it's basically an escape for free because you cannot stop greeted from getting away when this move is active all right so at level 11, increased damage dealt and increased frequency of ore and berries dropped. So at level 11 is, you need to hit that so you can go get this move to Covet Plus as fast as possible. Uh, berry belly flop. Uh, Greedy eats an ore and berry to recover HP and then leaps to the designated area, dealing damage and throwing enemies within the, the area of effect. Greta then eats a, sp a special berry, allowing an unlimited amount of orange berries to be stored for a store time, for a short time, and resets cooldowns of all moves. See, look at the scaling of this move. 241% of your base attack, plus 22 times whatever level that you currently are at, plus a free thousand damage this move scales really well and not only does it scale really well you can keep spamming all of your moves all of your moves can be spammed for like five seconds i would say even more than that it feels longer but i believe it's five seconds 
this is a very good move and i'll show you why and let's go to the uh, to the training mode all right guys so this is greeting a cool looking character i feel like they did their design pretty well as far as items that i use i use buddy barrier focus band and score shield score shield on greeting is amazing uh, early game while he has that defense curl move you pretty you pretty much can't stop greeting from scoring there's nothing you can do about it um because of the free shields and if you go stuffy cheeks you also really can't stop greeted from scoring because he gets even more shields from that. So let's go get this match started. Okay, so here we go. This is greeted. Guys, let's go straight to the dummy. Uh, so here we go right here. Uh, his basic attack does 170 damage to hits. Here we go. Pretty standard uh, basic attack. Uh, let's go have this reset. So if you guys can see with Greedent, he has some diamonds above his, underneath his health bar. You can stack up to five acorns with Greedent. Um, a good thing about Greedent's basic attacks, on his third attack, an acorn pops out. So you can use it to heal. Your teammates can pick it up. Yeah, and also your enemies will be able to pick this up as well. So be very careful on how you uh, pretty much whatever direction that you're pointing, the, the berries pop out in that direction. So be careful on what direction you're looking at so the enemies won't pick up your berries. <laughs> Let's go pick up Defense Curl. So uh, Greedent's first two moves, Tackle and Defense Curl. So... A good thing about Greedent is that his scoring is really, really good. And what I mean by that, we can go take a look at the basket. Remember, guys, Greedent's shield does give you uh, 25%. No, I'm sorry, 15% of his max health. So what you could do is is to like get, get coins like this five right here. And what you guys can do is... First, activate defense curl, go in, and then score. And it'll take 25, the enemy will need to do 25% of your max health in order for them to stop you from scoring. There's literally nothing you can do if you have under 15 uh, 15 uh, points on you. They can't really stop you from scoring. It's like pretty much impossible. <laughs> All right, so with defense curl, defense curl, does give you a shield so that's a good shield and again it's a 15% shield 15% of your max health and when you use it an a berry drops out so that's a good plus let's go to tackle tackle is an amazing move guys so what tackle does is it's the normal you will dash through you will pretty much dash through whatever you point at uh, so you can hit multiple enemies but the good thing about Tackle is it's on a 4% cooldown, as you guys can see right there, 4%. So if you guys say like you guys have three, three acorns, right? The effect of Tackle is the amount of stacks you have for acorns is the amount of cooldown you will lose for your Tackle or your Belch, if, and that's the next move. So if I do this combo, auto attack, hit, and I'll go tackle, and then this cooldown will reset right away and tackle again, you could go do massive, surprisingly massive damage to the enemy. So what I try to recommend to people, try to have three to four acorns so you could double dash real quick and do tons of damage to your enemy. So you can do something like, let's see the combo, let's wait until this resets. And you can do auto attack, dash, auto attack, dash, and that'll do about 1,500 damage. And that is tackle, guys. So now let's go level up to level 15. And we'll start with stuffy cheeks and bullet seed. All right, so stuffy cheeks and bullet seed. So what... 
stuffy cheeks does this i love this move this i like this move more than i like the other option which is covet but i know covet is the better option um what stuffy cheek does is you'll throw a bunch of acorns in a direction if you guys can see you're throwing five right you're throwing six right now but you can only throw you could throw six once you get to stuffy cheeks plus so normal stuffy cheeks you throw five and once you get stuffy cheeks plus you you throw six and how can i damage myself real quick i need to damage myself to show you guys how much i heal up by but that's all it does if you're at max he uh, health already uh every acorn that you pick up you get extra shields so that makes you even more tanky you guys can see um the shields that come up so you get a little small shield when you're at max hp same thing with your uh, teammates as well uh next move bullet seed so bullet seed is a very i feel like underwhelming move um but what i do like about it is it's pretty much a hyper voice but you can actually control the direction of it so the more uh acorn stacks that you have with bullet seed the law the faster the bullet seeds pop out so let's go here it goes and see uh it it stopped so uh and when you use bullet seed without any stacks as you guys can see yeah it shoots out really slow it's pretty much like a, a if you guys play any shooting games it's like a assault rifle burst three pump burst but once you're fully stacked up you can just keep shooting it and that's ten thousand damage oh my gosh that is a ton of damage You guys could just use this move and then just keep throwing and get some more stacks um and that's pretty much with bullet seed bullet sleep does slow down the enemies so when you're hitting them with it their movement speed is tarnished a bit also guys another thing with bullet seed bullet seed you can it's like hyper voice so you can move while you're using it but you can actually control the direction. That's why this move is good. If they just buffed the damage to this move, this move would be actually pretty different, uh, pretty decent. But what I have realized with Bullet Seed is that it does shred objectives pretty well. Another thing with uh, Greedon's passive, when you get hit, acorns do pop out. So acorns pop out when you get hit. Let's see, let's attack this Zapdos so I can get damaged. And if you guys can see, miss me. And you could just kind of kite the enemy and then heal right back up real quick. See, now I'm back to full health. I'm hitting and then I, I start attacking again. So guys, uh, this is how much Greedence Let's go get damaged by Zapdos real quick. This is how much Greedence uh, Acorns heal up at, at towards late game. He heals up by a lot late game because he does heal based off of your his max health. And because of that, one, if you get pick up all the Acorns, you heal up by a lot. So let's go low. So now I'm really low. Oh, my uh, focus band popped. So now let's go heal up and look at that heal. I could just keep running away and it's on a very short cooldown, guys. So I could keep running away, pick it up and just keep cutting the enemy with his moves. And this is greeting. Let's go on to his next moves. All right, guys. So we're back. Um... As you guys can see, I went Covet and Belch. That's his other moves, uh, choices that he can choose from. Uh, if anything, this is definitely the most optimal build that you can go on Greedent. So let's start with Covet. What Covet does is 
It gives uh, Greedent increased movement speed for every berry that he eats in front of him. And it also gives you invulnerability, so you can't be CC'd while in this move. You can't be... That means you can't be popped up, you can't be stunned, you can't be slept, you can't be anything. So basically, you get to escape for free. And not only that, because you're eating a ton of berries while you're on the move, you gain a lot of HP while uh, running away from your enemies. This is an amazing move. The only thing is it does take a while to gain control while you're doing this move. Second move, uh, Belch. So what Belch does is Belch is pretty much greedent burping, but this move does a ton of damage. Look at that, 225, 2,225 damage a hit. So look at that, that's crazy. And now just imagine that you eat a bunch of acorns. So remember greedent's passive is whatever the amount of berries he has stacked. That's how much it lowers your cooldown by. So the combo in general normally is make sure you have maxed out stacks and you just hit the enemy twice with this move. So now I have max stacks and as you guys can see, bang, and then I'll be able to use it again because of the max stacks. And look how low Belch's cooldown is naturally without even using his passive. And you guys could just use, you know, Belch twice. It's pretty much on a four, three second cooldown. That's like insane. That's, that's huge actually. And not only that, while you're in this state with Greedent and you're running away or you're trying to catch the enemy, you can cancel. So if you guys tap the move again, you will cancel Covet. It is a very good move. It just takes a while to get used to. It takes a long time to get used to this move. Uh, I would suggest everyone go to practice mode and practice the combo, the combination between Covet and Belch. Once you get used to how to, how to you know, run after the enemy and make sure you hit your Belches, because it does take a while to aim. Belch already has like a stalled, a, a stalled hit effect, meaning that. It doesn't, once you press the button, it doesn't just have, it doesn't just use the ability, the ability. It actually like stalls for like a good second or maybe like half a second and then the move happens. So you, you have to time it even more because of that pause. So let's see, even I'm sort of still, you know, getting used to, you know, the move myself. And you guys can see Nine Tails could not freeze me or anything while I was in that state. Next move, let's make sure the cooldowns are off. Let's turn it off. Next state is his Greedent's ult. So what Greedent ult does is he'll hop into place. And once Greedent hops into place, he'll be able to use all his abilities infinitely for like a set amount of time. I believe it's like five to five to seven seconds. You guys can see, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Let's turn the cooldowns off. So well, I'll go ahead and jump on the on the dummy. And Green will be able to spam the ult. Spam all of his moves infinitely for a short amount of time. And look how much damage I've done to this. Go ahead and kill him right now. And yeah, that's <laughs> That's greeting, guys. Like his ultimate, the initial hit is not, I would say, it's not the big deal, but is what it's what happens after Greedy uses his ultimate. And it does take a while to kind of he before he kind of like jumps into the area, but it's it's really what happens after Greedy uses his ultimate, which makes this his ultimate, his unite move, like one of the best unite moves in the game. The fact that all his moves goes gets resetted for like five seconds Don't give up. makes him amazing. So, and then I could just keep spamming. I could I could just keep spamming the move. Like th this is crazy. 
his ultimate is the be the best one of the best ultimates in the game just because of the fact that he can just keep spamming his abilities after his ultimate and uh this is the definitely the most optimal build with Greedent. so uh yeah that's pretty it that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if the video enjoyed the guide if you guys have any comments or questions please write it down in the comment section below i do stream every monday wednesday friday but lately um on twitch but lately i've been having tournaments um monday uh, i've been having tournaments friday and saturday and sometimes on sunday so i do i have been streaming on weekends on twitch uh if you guys want my twitch it will be right down in the description stretch. below it's your boy blackbeard the professor and i'm out peace aha and me later